Bacchausia citriodora, common names lemon myrtle, lemon scented myrtle, lemon scented ironwood, is a flowering plant in the family Myrtaceae, genus Bacchausia. It is endemic to subtropical rainforests of central and southeastern Queensland, Australia, with a natural distribution from Mackay to Brisbane. Other common names are sweet verbena tree, sweet verbena myrtle, lemon scented verbena, and lemon scented Bacchausia. Growth It can reach 6 metres 20 feet in height, but is often smaller. The leaves are evergreen, opposite, lanceolate, 5–12 cm long and 1.5–2.5 cm broad, glossy green, with an entire margin. The flowers are creamy white, 5 to 7 mm in, in diameter, produced in clusters at the ends of the branches from summer through to autumn, after petal fall the calyx is persistent. Etymology <inaudible> 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 Lemon myrtle was given the botanical name Backhousia citriodora in 1853 after the English botanist, James Backhouse. The common name reflects the strong lemon smell of the crushed leaves. Lemon-scented myrtle was the primary common name until the shortened trade name, Lemon Myrtle, was created by the native foods industry to market the leaf for culinary use. Lemon myrtle is now the more common name for the plant and its products. Lemon myrtle is sometimes confused with lemon ironbark, which is Eucalyptus stigeriana. Topic: <inaudible> Essential oils. Bacchausia citriodora has two essential oil chemotypes. The citral chemotype is more prevalent and is cultivated in Australia for flavoring and essential oil. Citral is an isolate in steam distilled lemon myrtle oil is typically 90-98%, and oil yield 1-3% from fresh leaf. It is the highest natural source of citral. The citronellal chemotype is uncommon, and can be used as an insect repellent. Uses Indigenous Australians have long used lemon myrtle, both in cuisine and as a healing plant. The oil has the highest citral purity, typically higher than lemongrass. It is also considered to have a cleaner and sweeter aroma than comparable sources of citral lemongrass and litsia cubeba. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Culinary Lemon myrtle is one of the well-known bushfood flavors and is sometimes referred to as the queen of the lemon herbs. The leaf is often used as dried flakes, or in the form of an encapsulated flavor essence for enhanced shelf life. It has a range of uses, such as lemon myrtle flakes in shortbread, flavoring in pasta, whole leaf with baked fish, infused in macadamia or vegetable oils, and made into tea, including tea blends. It can also be used as a lemon flavor replacement in milk-based foods, such as cheesecake, lemon-flavored ice cream and sorbet without the curdling problem associated with lemon fruit acidity. The dried leaf has free radical scavenging ability. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Antimicrobial Lemon myrtle essential oil possesses antimicrobial properties, however the undiluted essential oil is toxic to human cells in vitro. When diluted to approximately 1%, absorption through the skin and subsequent damage is thought to be minimal. Lemon myrtle oil has a high Rydal walker coefficient, a measure of antimicrobial potency. Use of lemon myrtle oil as a treatment for skin lesions caused by molluscum contagiosum virus MCV, a disease affecting children and immunocompromised patients, has been investigated. Nine of 16 patients who were treated with 10% strength lemon myrtle oil showed a significant improvement, compared to none in the control group. A study in 2003 which investigated the effectiveness of different preparations of lemon myrtle against bacteria and fungi concluded that the plant had potential as an antiseptic or as a surface disinfectant, or as an antimicrobial food additive. 
The oil is a popular ingredient in health care and cleaning products, especially soaps, lotions, skin whitening preparations and shampoos. Cultivation Lemon myrtle is a cultivated ornamental plant. It can be grown from tropical to warm temperate climates, and may handle cooler districts provided it can be protected from frost when young. In cultivation it rarely exceeds about 5 meters and usually has a dense canopy. The principal attraction to gardeners is the lemon smell which perfumes both the leaves and flowers of the tree. Lemon myrtle is a hardy plant which tolerates all but the poorest drained soils. It can be slow growing but responds well to slow release fertilizers. Seedling lemon myrtle go through a shrubby, slow juvenile growth stage, before developing a dominant trunk. Lemon myrtle can also be propagated from cutting, but is slow to strike. A study into the plant growing adventitious roots found that, actively growing axillary buds, wide stems, and mature leaves are good indicators that a cutting will take root successfully and survive. A further study on temperature recommended glasshouses for growing cuttings throughout the year. Growing cuttings from mature trees bypasses the shrubby juvenile stage. Cutting propagation is also used to provide a consistent product in commercial production. In plantation cultivation the tree is typically maintained as a shrub by regular harvesting from the top and sides. Mechanical harvesting is used in commercial plantations. It is important to retain some lower branches when pruning for plant health. The harvested leaves are dried for leaf spice, or distilled for the essential oil. The majority of commercial lemon myrtle is grown in Queensland and the north coast of New South Wales, Australia. A 2009 study has suggested that drying lemon myrtle leaves at higher temperatures improves the citral content of the dried leaves, but discolors the leaves more. Myrtle rust A significant fungal pathogen, myrtle rust was detected in lemon myrtle plantations in January 2011. Myrtle rust severely damages new growth and threatens lemon myrtle production. Controls are being developed. Topic lemon myrtle history Pre-1788 Aboriginal people use B. citriodora for medicine and flavoring. 1853 Scientifically named Bacchausia citriodora by botanist, Ferdinand von Muller, with the genus named after friend, James Backhouse, Quaker missionary and botanist. 1888 Bertram isolates citral from B. citriodora oil, and Messrs. Schimmel and Co., Dresden, write about the essential oil as having, probably a future, 1900s to 1920s. B. citriodora distilled on a small scale commercial basis around Umundi, Queensland, 1920s. Discovery of antimicrobial qualities of steam distilled B. citriodora oil, by A. R. Penfold and R. Grant, Technological Museum, Sydney, 1940s. Tarax Co. used B. Citriodora oil as a lemon flavoring during World War II, 1950s. Some production of oil carried out in the Maryborough and Miriam Vale areas from bush stands by Junior Archibald, but the small industry falls into decline. 1989 B. Citriodora investigated as a potential leaf spice and commercial crop by Peter Hardwick, Wilderness Foods Tie Ltd. The company commissions Dr. Ian Southwell, the Essential Oils Unit, Wollongbar Agricultural Institute, to analyze B. Citriodora selections using gas chromatography. 1990 Restaurants and food manufacturers supplied with dried B. Citriodora leaf by Vic Cherikoff, Bush Tucker Supply Tie Ltd., produced by Russell and Sharon Coston, Limpenwood Gardens. 1991 B. Citriodora Plantation established by Dennis Archer and Rosemary Cullen Archer, Tuna Essential Oils Tie Ltd., and subsequent commercial supply of plantation produced B. Citriodora oil in 1993. 1997 Large scale plantations of B. Citriodora established in North Queensland, by Australian native Lemon Myrtle Ltd. Late 1990s, B. Citriodora begins to be supplied internationally for a range of flavoring, cosmetic and antimicrobial products. Agronomic production of B. Citriodora starts to exceed demand. 2001 Standards for Oil of B. Citriodora established by the Essential Oils Unit, Wollongbar, and Standards Australia. 2004 Monograph published on B. Citriodora by Tuna Essential Oils Tie Ltd. 
2010 Lemon Myrtle sells out in London after Jamie Oliver describes it as pucka on his TV show. See also Citral Lemon verbena <laughs>